All right, ladies, you know, this has never been done before in Georgia. A prosecutor is now looking back into his own cases to make sure he got it right. Innocent people may be freed from jail now and new suspects may appear. And in some cases, we may finally learn the truth. And as 11 Alive's Ryan Kruger reports, two of the most infamous cases in Atlanta history inspired the creation of this brand new task force. Fulton County DA Paul Howard says he's already heard from a lot of people on cases they would like his new conviction integrity unit to look into. But starting off, there are only two that are in the works. Two of the most controversial cases ever in this state. Of course, we are talking about the infamous Wayne Williams in the Atlanta child murders investigation, along with the murder conviction and eventual lynching of Leo Frank from more than a century ago. But let's start off for first talking about Wayne Williams. Remember, He's never been convicted in the Atlanta child murders, even though he is the main suspect. So the first thing the new conviction integrity unit is going to do will be to finally get a list of how many kids were actually killed. Believe it or not, after decades, it's still not clear how many children we're talking about. We're going to make a broader inspection of the entire period of time, and we're going to look at all of the homicides. All right, let's move next to the Leo Frank case. Now, more than 100 years ago, Frank, who was Jewish, was convicted of killing a 13 year old girl in Fulton County. He was lynched just two years later. But today, many experts believe Frank was actually innocent and that his religion may have caused the jury to be tainted against him. Former Governor Roy Barnes, who will serve as an advisor on that integrity unit, brought this case's attention to Paul Howard. And as they would march up the jurors every day, to go to the Fulton County Courthouse, uh, the crowd would chant, hang the Jew or we'll hang you. And it's not just old cases. More recent cases will also be looked into. For instance, back in 2016, a Fulton County man had his murder conviction overturned when the DA's office found its own star witness was lying. 